Yes, what's happening, my people? So we're back today. I've got my brother here. Collective Constrictors. He changed his name. This is the new man, mentor as well when it comes to my bows and stuff like that. This is who I come to my advice for. I thought there's no one better to come and introduce some of the bowers and stuff like that with me than Collective Constrictors himself. So make sure you follow his Instagram because anytime I ring him, any time of the night, he's answering. His missus is like, get off the phone. He's still <laughs> answering. Do you get me? Collective. Let's wrap Let's it up. Go. So first, we're gonna get out my Sun Glow VPI Het Blood. We're gonna get that snake out. So all these snakes come from Germany. I've got a good friend out in Germany. Boas only. We'll put his Instagram on there. Everybody follow him because he sorted me right out. I let Collective Constrictors let you lot know a bit more about the Sun Glow gene and where it comes from and stuff like that. So yes, this is the Sun Glow VPI Het Blood. Let them know about the Sun Glow gene. So Sun Glow is a hypo albino mix. She's also a VPI. PI, which gives her those lovely red eyes. And there's also a, a blood mix in here as well, which gives her the nice dark reds that you can also see on her as well. Do you want to get another one out? Yeah, should we get another should one Should we out? get next one out? Let's get the scorer out and give them some information and background on where the scorer is from. So this is my scoria het VPI male. Give them a little insight of where scoria comes from. So scoria is actually a bit of a strange gene. It was produced by a guy called Jeff in the USA. Parents were just normal looking boas. So they're like two wild caught boas or just uh, normal uh, out of the collection? I'm not too sure. They were wild caught, or they were just pet and what's, ones. And what's the background on the on the scoria? How did it become like? How did it become then a gene? Were produced in 2003. The first scoria was a male. He was eventually paired back to his mum. That produced. I think it was five or seven, and they were female high, like a lot more females in that litter. So yeah, that's a scoria boa. All right, cool. So should we move on to one of the heavy hitting females? Yeah, let's go for All it. All right, cool. We're gonna get to the IMG land, let's go. So yes, this is the powerhouse female. So she's a lot of the genes combined in one. She is a sun glow, VPI, IMG blood. So know. as you can see, the black pigments coming through, that's the IMG genetic coming through. And every shed she has, she will produce more and more black pigments. And the IMG G stands for increasing. Increasing melanistic gene. So yeah, so she's sun glow as well. So that is a mix between, what is it? Hypo and, Hi albino. and albino. Yes. Basically what we would like to get from her with the male that we got from Germany coming over, we want to get a full house. So basically an IMG, VPI, sun glow, blood. She's a het blood. So she's missing one of the genes. This is my IMG female. It's probably the worst day to get her out because she's in shed, but we wanted to show you like an IMG in its full form. Let's say, would you say she's like fully now all increased? Yeah. Or do you think she's uh, got any more to do? Maybe it's towards the tail end. Just yeah. that tail end there, but I'd say she's about 99%. Okay, so she's an Inca IMG. Het BEA, Black Eyed Annery, but uh, Ralph Davis line. She is in shed, people. So when she's not in shed, if you see the iridescence, it pops. But yeah, man, give them a little explanation. And So the IMG gene is the increasing melanistic gene, which was produced first by Peter Carl. He produced them just by two normal looking as well. So a lot yeah. of things are coming from too normal. Yeah, they were just yeah. had black dots on them and he noticed that every, towards every shed, they were just getting darker and darker. Give them a little explanation then about the Inca. So the Inca gene is a, from the Nicaraguan morph, which is yeah. a dwarf boa, which is why this one's not gonna get too big. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So the Inca gene is, a, is almost like an indication as well that she's got genetics from the dwarf boas. Yeah, that's so correct. So she's yeah. not gonna get too big, yeah? Yeah. How big would you say she'll get? I reckon she'll max out six foot. Six foot, that's good, man. Big up Kevin for the IMG. Kevin Hasty will put his Instagram there. You lot contact him, he's UK based. I don't think I've introduced my young bowlings yet. So I thought, let me just introduce the young ones to you guys while we're here. So this is Bo. This is one of my juvenile bowlings, Python. So right now, Bo's going through his color change. He was very red. And now you can see his iridescence is coming out a lot more. His whole body will go pitch black eventually. But while he's still young, a young juvenile, it's a bit like, it's like got a reddish hue. What, should we, what do you want to get out of the female? Yeah, should we get the you female? You want to get the female? All right, cool. So we'll show you lot Bolenny as well. This is my female, Bolenny. What do you think of her? Stunning. Exactly like the male. Yeah. Stunning. Look at the iridescence as well. So she's obviously going through her colour change as well. See by the top of her head, it's like pitch black and then it goes down to the ready sort of hue. By the time they're about two years old, she'll be fully, fully black. So yes, everybody. So you see the Bolene's pythons now as well. Collective. Oh shit, I don't want her to get you. She's Collective. Love for coming down, my bro. And Bo Lenny, let's get you back in your enclosure. Let's go. 